are you tired of me asking the question yet? Because if the crime reports keep going this way, I'm gonna keep asking. If drag queens and transgender people are such a huge threat, why is it that in 4,279 reports over the past 37 weeks, there hasn't been a single news story in the United States involving a drag queen assaulting a child? And transgender people? There are three of the 4,279, seven one-hundredths of one percent. And this week alone, we had two more Republican politicians, a county chair and former councilman in upstate New York, and a North Dakota state legislator. We are now at 48 politicians in 37 weeks, and 38 of those 48, over 80 percent of the politicians who've made news for sexually assaulting children in this period have been Republicans the ones so loudly proclaiming that they're protecting children from predators. Yeah, they turn out to be a huge part of the problem. In addition this week, the usual collection of pastors, priests, and church employees, they represent eight of the 218 cases we added to our database. That's right. The data shows your child is 642 times more likely to be assaulted by an ordained member of the clergy than by a transgender person, even though transgender people outnumber those ordained clergy by more than two and a half to one. In case you're wondering, that number is 128 times more likely that your child will be assaulted by a politician than a transgender person. All the data is available for you to review at whoismakingnews.com with one little hitch. The fine folks at Google pulled the data sheet on which we track the data. Supposedly, the data now violates their terms of service. The appeal is pending. So we're on a backup, which makes some functionality of the website, including the full download of the data, temporarily out of service. But we are expecting that it will be back up soon.